Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. His name is My Web, and guys, in this video, I am going to do working on this uh, my account drop down option. Okay, I think uh, you already watched my trial video where I have where we have some drop down options like your or uh, your account, your order, your wish list, and other another login or register button, which is included in this my account drop down option. So how can we create a drop down option by using bootstrap 4 so now let's get started with this source code now i am going to do my text editor which is text uh, which is uh, brackets okay uh, you can use anything like a notepad plus or sublime text as you want okay now i'm coming to the anchor tag of this my account okay change the line of that okay now again i'm coming to the anchor tag and take a class the class name is drop down oops oh drop down menu okay the drop down menu have okay no not drop down menu so drop down toggle okay the drop down toggle and after that the data toggle data the data tower equal to it's a ha and the double quotes in the between double quotes we have a option for that a uh, drop down okay and after that area hash pop up okay the area hash pop up have a the, the boolean option of that are true or false so i write true okay the true after that the area expanded option is area expanded equal to false okay and after that now okay first of all i save it and check in the browser Control or to refresh and as you can see it's have a drop down arrow at or an anchor okay will be shown at here okay here is problem for that when I hover on that it's the cursor is changing the pointer and it's not okay okay now I'm going to the again into the style CSS file and here is user menu UL ally and anchor tag okay out of the color take a display to block okay now we press the control s button and check the browser again refresh it okay oops yeah okay it's working on now what is the next thing of that uh, in, uh, anchor tag change the line okay of ally tag and take another okay it's a uh, drop down box okay now i take another div the class the class name is drop down menu drop down menu and the another class is drop down menu right okay the drop down menu right and okay after that I take a anchor tag the anchor tag link is blank and after that take another button the button type is is also button and after that we take something like uh, some options for that like uh, your account your order so I write uh, your account okay now press the control s button and check in the browser control r to refresh and click on that okay so as you can see it's have a your account option okay now how can you solve that uh, you can simply write a, a class okay and come to the div class drop down menu and out of the drop down menu right the, I write another class to BG dark 
Okay, now control S to save and check it, check it again. Okay. Okay. So what is the next thing of uh, that? The button type is button and take another class name. The class name is drop down item. Drop down item. Okay. Now press the control S button. Check it again. okay so you have a option of your account okay and I copy this into three times and here's the your orders wish list okay now check it again so your here is your account your order and here is your wish list okay now now again i'm com coming to the style resources and take a another style of that so we have a user menu and we have a button so what's happening of that so you can simply change the color first of all the color is white okay change the height size Mm, near about 40 40 pixel uh, line height is 40 pixel also now press the control s button and check in the browser press it and click on that so here is your account your order and here is this list okay something is wrong into the into the line height so it decreases the size of that so it's 30 30 okay now press the control s button and again refresh okay so it's on center from top and bottom now change the width of this so i increase the size of this wider so again i'm going to the index.php and take a another internal sorry inline CSS of this div class so style and here is the width width is near about 250 pixel yeah that's good okay now press the control s button and check it again press it okay it's cool yeah. now i take a some I, I take some user icons like a i class fas fa user okay and after that and nbsp okay now press the control s button and check now again into the browser so here is your account after that we need some your your order icon so i just copy this code okay and before the your order i paste that and change the name is cube okay and paste it into the again that it's uh, hurt okay now i press the control, control s button and check in the browser again press it and we have your account your order and here is miss list option okay so it's cool now what is the next thing is create a some login and register button okay so everything is good now i'm coming to the source code and after this anchor tag we take a, another deep class the deep class the deep class is drop down divider okay sorry for that uh, divider now press the control s button again control s control r to press so here is a one another simple divider okay now after the divider we take a okay we need some paragraph uh, yeah paragraph and write okay 
if uh, you are a new user okay cut it and take a small tag mm, small yeah I pressed it now check in the browser so here is a, if you are a new user okay now again and come to the paragraph and take a class something of from bootstrap here is some uh, text center text white okay now press the control s button and check the browser again okay press it so if you are a new user okay i think it's looking good now change some style i'm style of that so okay yeah take a inline css for that the inline css is near about a uh, height is near about 15 pixel the, the height will be uh, 15 pixel after that the line height is 20 pixel okay yeah check the browser again refresh it okay so it's looking good if you are a new user so what's happening after that we need a uh, two button is login and register button okay i copy this okay paste here okay um, yeah and here is the drop down item and other thing is text center text center okay just save it and refresh okay so is your account and here is your account okay sorry for that uh, the name is also register register and another thing is login okay mm, in capital letter okay now press the control s button and checking again okay here is the register and here is login so again I take a, another class the class is text center okay and another thing is bg danger okay now press the control button and check the browser again refresh it okay so i think everything is looking good and now it's time to make a slider so i am taking talking about the slider in the in the next video so meet you soon into the next video Oh, 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 oh,